Past is not destiny. First, I believe on the unlimited capacity of the humanity to adapt themselves for new situations. I have the privilege of flying with more than 20,000 passengers. Imagine to share the fears and the happiness, the state of happiness of 21,000 persons. Uh, and uh, I start to observe in the last 30 years uh, the takeoff as a powerful metaphor. The way people take the takeoff uh, is the way usually uh, we deal with our lives, a new project, a new relationship, a new business. Uh, let me share with you how does it work a takeoff. Uh, on the takeoff, I have to achieve the speed of 10 miles in the short space of 24 feet, carrying a passenger. The passenger usually 200 pounds, so I have to run 10 miles uh, carrying a hang glide of 120 pounds. At the end, you have a height of 1,600 feet. So if my passenger doesn't help me to run, I have to carry the hang glider, the passenger, 10 miles per hour. So I start to observe a uh, pattern in these 21,000 persons. Uh, my passengers used to come to fly and say, OK, Hui, I'm going to run. And they run. But 95%, they say, I'm going to run. And they didn't run. And I have to carry them. So I start to be curious why there are some passengers with different, uh, uh, different uh, reactions to the same event. So I conduct a survey through the light of biopsychology, observing pulse rate, uh, contraction of the face, and breathing, and cognitive performance on the takeoff. And on the landing, I had a volunteer questionnaire about uh, matrix of the parental, emotional matrix, uh, social interactions. And then I uh, was relating this, these informations. I found the 5% of my passengers that they run, I named them the diamond personalities because they arrived before the takeoff radiant like a diamond and cooperatives, and they have cognitive performance. The others, I found three, kind, three uh, kinds of th uh, types of fears. One, one fear. Imagine uh, who he was small, and my, I got the, the, the message from my parents that they were scared of heights. As a mammal brain, I get the same information. The second kind of fear is the trauma. Imagine who he fall from a tree when he's small, and I got the information I have to have fear with the altitude. And the third fear is more delicate to say is domestic violence. It's when Rui developed with low self-esteem. But I have good news. Uh, in this, I have thousands of feedbacks of my passengers. They were almost paralyzed before the takeoff, where they, they send me uh, letters, uh, emails, uh, talking about that uh, after the flight, they observe a change of pattern in their lives. So I used to observe that we, call, we can develop resilience or adaptation in our lives, and we call this uh, neuroplasticity. It's the capacity of the brain to develop new connections. Let me share how does it work. Imagine who has information that I cannot fly when I was, was, was small. When I take off one scary neuron, open the eyes, and say like this, Holy crap, I'm flying. <laughs> and then you start to share this feeling of empowerment with other neurons, creating what? A new synapse. And creating what? A infinite possibilities of choices in our life. And creating what? A neuro party. <laughs> and uh, what the religions call free will the neuroscience called neuroplasticity. And, but we can use this also, also for ourselves. We are already uh, working in this segment of sports and social segments using these fundamentals. And how will we use it? Searching for new situations, okay? And I have also observing before my most, most fearful 
passengers before the takeoff, we work with visualization. In this visualization, we use a uh, different kind of feelings. And the most powerful uh, takeoff with my passengers, they were more paralyzing before the takeoff, we using uh, the feelings of compassion, attributing the compassion as I have for, for the takeoff. An example, imagine I'm very scared and I'm going to, to, to offer my takeoff here as a symbol of love to Amazon. I'm sure people want to, to run now. So all the other feelings is gratefulness on the takeoff before we take off. The other is forgiveness. And the most powerful one, love. And the people, my passengers were almost paralyzed because before we take off. And we use on this visualization, these feelings, they run very, very well. I want to, to end uh, our speech with one of the thousands of feedbacks we have our passengers. That's from Sophie, that she talks like this. Hi, Hui, thanks for making my acrophobia disappear. I need to jump off a plane now. <laughs> I know how now I can do it with the right memory file. Thanks, Sophie. That's why past is not destiny. Thanks.